Did you know that Apple has recently entered the world of personal finance, not just with their Apple Card, but also with a high yield savings account too? And it's creating quite a buzz in the industry. But before we jump into this wagon, let's take a closer look at the facts. Hi, if you're new to the channel, I am Raj, a data scientist who loves to explore money from a data-driven perspective, and I'm here to help you make smart financial choices. So let's dive into this one. Let's understand why Apple launched their high yield savings account. After dominating the tech industry, Apple expanded its reach by launching the Apple Card and Apple Cash. They understand that customer loyalty lies in integrating people deeper into their Apple ecosystem. Look, I'm all about loyalty. And guess what? It has worked. Apple has more than 7 million users of Apple Card in United States right now. And banking industry is hot. Apple knows that you are not going to change your bank account every single month. In fact, in the banking industry, it has been observed that one product equals to 18 months of average retention period. And with two product, it can go as high as four years and it increases exponentially from there on. So what's better way to stick the customers into their ecosystem other than the banking products, right? That's why Apple launched their pay later program in early March 2023. And now with the increase in interest rate, it's the perfect time to make the move for Apple. Partnering with Goldman Sachs once again, Apple has launched high yield savings account in early April 2023. With no fees, no minimum deposits and no balance requirements, it is an easily manageable system directly through your Apple card in your Apple wallet. But wait, before you rush to open this account, let's discuss what you should know. I will cover both advantages as well as potential drawbacks of this Apple's new savings account so you can make the right choice. It provides a competitive 4.15 of annual interest rates and of course it will change depending on when you are watching this video. It is FDIC insured up to $250,000 which is interestingly same as the maximum amount you can put into this savings account. So your amount is 100% insured. You can move your money between the Apple Cash and the savings account instantly. And with the Apple Apple's reputation of excellent customer support and service, you can expect the same for their banking experience. What else was there? Oh yes, there is a perk for Apple Card users. If you are an Apple Card user, you can get your cashback deposited instantly into your savings account and it will start earning interest from that moment. But what's the catch? Let's understand what you should know before getting into this. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. It helps my channel reach more people who may benefit from this information. So let's continue. Number one is bad news for us Canadians because it is only available in United States and we have no news of when it is coming to Canada. One reason could be that the dominating banks in Canada are not allowing Apple to penetrate the market of banking industry. So do subscribe if you don't want to miss this as I will soon share more about this topic. Second, it's exclusive to Apple Card users, meaning you cannot use the high yield savings account if you are not an Apple Card user. Another thing is, if you are depositing your money from your bank account and not your Apple Cash account, it may take from three to five business days to get into your savings account. Ideally, it takes one day, but it can potentially take between three to five business days to reach it. And keep in mind that support is primarily online or via phone as there are no physical branches of this bank account. But if you are in US and you want these kind of saving account but not interested into Apple's high yield savings account, there are a few other online banks which you can potentially explore. So do check them out, take time and do well research before you jump the gun. And for my Canadian viewers, don't worry, I'll keep you posted on any of the developers related to the Apple savings accounts coming to Canada. If you have any questions or thoughts on this topic, feel free to leave them in the comments below. That brings me to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Wait, let me remind you to check out the description box below because I have listed down some additional resources regarding today's video. So do take time to explore. Thank you.